Hi, your weather first forecast is looking pretty good. We need the rain, but it looks like limited rain chances now as most of the thunderstorm activity and showers and heavy downpours will stay in northern and western Missouri. So we're also tracking tropical storm Ophelia winds of 40 miles an hour weakening as it made landfall this morning at 6 a.m. along the shores of North Carolina. Still a lot of activity going on around the eastern seaboard, some higher wind gusts and some very heavy rain and some flooding issues there. We'll zoom in a little bit more to the mid-Atlantic and you can see the spin around that area of low pressure, which is tropical storm Ophelia. All right, right now at Lambert, well, it is good flying weather. We do have some delays to JFK with the storms and showers along the eastern seaboard there. So flying to JFK from St. Louis might be a little bit of an issue. And also Kansas City, some big storms just to the south and east of MCI. And you have this cold front that is slowly moving in our direction, but all of the instability with the thunderstorm activity is staying north and west of us is the way it's looking now. So clouds on the increase as we get into tonight, it's already starting to, to cloud up in a lot of areas. And watch as that rain, even in Pike County, dissipates as it moves to the east. So that's the problem with these clusters of storms to the west. They're pretty intense but they're not expected to move in our direction. So it stays dry for us most of the night. And that severe weather chance, again enhanced in orange here, stays in western Missouri, eastern Kansas, and northeastern Oklahoma. And the future cast is showing showers and storms diving to the south. And then tomorrow, as that cold front slowly moves in our direction, we might see a spot shower or a thunderstorm, but plenty of dry time in here and cooler high temperatures closer to 80 degrees. So the severe weather chances tomorrow to the south and west of us around uh, Dallas, Texas, the big bullseye for tomorrow. And the chance of seeing some more warm weather this week is very good. In fact, 85 for the temperatures around St. Louis early evening. We made it to 88 today, and there is that high temperature, 66 for the low. We're going to see a lot of 80s this week. It's going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, but even overnight lows expected to be in the 60s, a large portion of this week. So if we do get some rain in here tomorrow, the potential of seeing uh, some areas hardly anything, and then others, if you get a downpour or a thunderstorm, you might get a tenth of an inch of rain, possibly as much as a half an inch. And then as we look at the future cast on Wednesday, there's another chance of some showers and maybe a rumble of thunder in here, but a slim chance and most of the week coming up is going to be dry. All right, look how mild it is tonight. Clouds increasing. A spot shower can't be ruled out, especially in our western counties and 60s for the Missouri side and some 50s Salem, Illinois to Flora and into Mount Vernon. But a lot of us very mild for overnight lows tonight. Grasses are not showing up anymore. Weeds on the moderate side uh, for the allergy index and mold is on the high side. The reason you might be sneezing and sniffling. All right, so clouds on the increase tonight, 67 degrees. Tomorrow, scattered showers or isolated storms still possible. Lots of dry time, 81. Southeast wind at 5 to 10. 10 day forecast showing temperatures staying in the 80s. In fact, mid 80s by Friday and Saturday. Plenty of sunshine. A few limited pools are still open. So good pool weather for it, even overnight lows in the 60s. And we stay in the 80s, in fact, low 80s, as we get into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of the following week.